While pilots are doing much of the heavy lifting, drones are also establishing a mind of their own. I had the pleasure of meeting up with Jesse Clayton, Senior Manager of Product for Intelligent Machines from NVIDIA while I was on the road at Interdrone. He discussed how artificial intelligence and machine learning are taking drones to new heights. So let's talk about, you guys are really doing some amazing things, and one of the things now, we're going to talk about AI and deep learning. I love that because, you know, when you think about construction, that isn't something that they have been into for a long time, and this is all pretty, a lot of novice kind of uh, folks in the construction industry. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, so um, I think it's important to, to take a step back and sort of understand the broader trend that's happening in the industry right now. Um, modern artificial intelligence and specifically deep learning is making it possible to solve problems that haven't been practically solvable before. And there's really three things that have made this possible. The first is big data, the second is algorithms, and the third is GPUs from NVIDIA. It's such a powerful technology that it's impacting almost every industry. It's able to solve problems in industries like healthcare, financial services, um, and also in construction. So NVIDIA has built a product called Jetson, and Jetson is NVIDIA's platform for artificial intelligence at the edge. Jetson can take the power of artificial intelligence, bring it into the size and power envelope that can fit onto a drone platform and be applied to applications like construction, um, like industrial inspection. So when we think about that, when we look at industrial inspection right now, that's a pretty powerful thing because that's something construction companies thinking about the job site and what they can do, one for safety, one for getting workflows done more efficiently, but what do you see what you guys are doing that you've looked at even deeper than that? Sure, so we see a lot of people doing uh, inspection of existing infrastructure, um, like bridges, uh, like uh, cell towers, um, like uh, wind turbines, and these drones are capable of autonomously flying around the thing that needs to be inspected and determining where there are faults in this piece of equipment or this piece of infrastructure. Um, the same thing can be done with building construction or other structures that uh, are being added onto or built in process. Another application within construction is monitoring the progress of the construction itself. So monitoring the aggregates to see how much is being used, is it keeping up with what we expect to happen, also monitoring the equipment that's on site as well. Are these pieces of equipment being utilized as much as they should be doing the things that we expect them to be doing? Well, we have a lot of pieces of equipment out there that sit idle. So are we looking at this to say now we might see equipment that maybe we didn't realize isn't being used effectively or efficiently in places? Because sometimes you never think about it. There's pieces of equipment we forget are on job sites. We don't even know where they are sometimes. Yeah, I mean, all of these pieces of equipment are very expensive, um, and if they're just sitting idle, they're not really generating any value for the construction uh, operator itself. And so um, being able to more effectively monitor these sites um, and monitor what these pieces of equipment are doing can really generate a lot of opportunities uh, to capture more valuable value for the construction. One of the things you mentioned is big data. When we talk about that in construction, a lot of people get confused what that means. What do you kind of interpret that to mean for construction companies who are trying to understand the two terms there, you know, two words, big and data. Yeah. Well, this new model of deep learning, computing with deep learning, it's different in that instead of a programmer programming the computer what to do, instead the model is you're training a neural network on the task that you want it to do. Now, this requires a lot of data. And in fact, companies that have a lot of data, data are more easily able to train those neural networks to do these different tasks. So you take your very large data set, say you're doing things like monitoring uh, a, a piece of construction equipment, like a, like a truck. Um, teach the neural network what the truck is, what the activities that that truck is normally doing and what they look like, and from that process it can learn to generalize and track what that truck is doing um, and more effectively optimize the process. Do you think over time we'll see more construction companies embracing this faster than we've seen up to this point, or do you think it's still going to take some time for everyone to really embrace you know, deep learning as you described, big data, and all the three th elements that you talked about from the beginning of our conversation. Um, I think what you're starting to see is there are companies that are demonstrating how valuable this technology can be. 
Um, and once they're able to show that uh, and, and these construction companies are able to see that, I think we'll see a dramatic acceleration in the use of deep learning to solve problems in this space. Have you seen the adoption of drones now as one indication that construction companies are really taking all this technology to the next level in a much greater way than they've ever done before? Yeah, so one of the companies that we work with is a company called Skycatch, and they've deployed deep learning to, to address the construction site management problem. Um, they have partners in construction that are working to uh, more effectively streamline the operations on these construction sites. Now, of course, drones have the ability to go places and to get vantage points that people can't. And so taking that capability, adding deep learning and artificial intelligence really creates a lot of opportunities. Are there other companies you're working with in the construction industry net right now that you feel good that are really adopting some of this that you're talking about? Um, so Skycatch is the one that, that we're working most closely with today. Um, there are a lot of startups and a lot of companies that we're working with that haven't been announced yet, and so I expect you'll see a lot of see, that. Yeah, I was trying to get you some of that out of there. It's secrets out there. What do you see right now? What's your big prediction for the future in the drone market, NVIDIA, and what you see kind of happening as we look ahead? You know, I think looking out into the future, what we're going to see is a transition to from drones that are able to uh, focus on tasks that require a pilot um, or require navigation via GPS, for instance, um, to ones in which the drones are acting much more autonomously. So they're able to fly themselves, but also carry out tasks themselves. Now, these can be very challenging problems. Um, navigation in particular, especially in areas that are GPS denied or where the mapping of the area, like a construction site, hasn't been done already. So the ability of a drone using artificial intelligence intelligence can solve some of those challenges. In fact, NVIDIA just launched a framework today called Redtail. What Redtail is is an artificial intelligent and AI accelerated navigation software framework to enable drones to more effectively navigate in these cluttered, in these unmapped, in these GPS denied environments. So we see our customers taking advantage of, of frameworks like Redtail to give their drones many more capabilities than they have today. It's exciting to say the intelligence is here, and it's time to tap into it. That's our On the Road. It's exciting to say the intelligence is here, and it's time to tap into it. That's our On the Road.